old ladies. Hello, ladies. <laughs> yes, it is true. I am Vin Diesel's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I am from Kansas. <laughs> a little birdie yeah. told me that last year's theme was The Wizard of Oz. Yeah! yeah. But you know what? Dorothy and I dated. <laughs> you can go from hitting a rock bottom to rising to the top. But there's, there's a secret. There's a secret to all this. There's a secret ingredient, and it took me years to figure out, and it took me years to find. But for somebody today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you part of that secret, so you can see what I see, and hopefully you can see the vision of what can change your life as well as everybody else's here. Back in August of 98, I was in an accident. I rolled my vehicle five and a half times. My own car hit me in the back. And the doctors basically diagnosed me as paraplegic, and they told me that my football days was over and I would never walk again. I mean, I was devastated. I felt alone. I asked the Lord, why me? I never got my answer, but I kept on. It's like, why me? I mean, you hear and you see like so many bad people in the world. But why? Why was it me? I, I really wish that at the time that I would have died in the accident. I felt better off if I was, my life was taken because I didn't want to be the person that I was. And so I was like, what was it for me? I had, I had a chest brace on that the doctors limited me to five pounds. I was going crazy. So just at one point something snapped and I was like, the hell with this. It's like, I'm going crazy. It's like, if I can't do anything, the one thing I can be is stronger than everybody. And that's what I did. And then I, I started powerlifting competitions. How can you become something when you hit rock bottom? How can you go from going to that to being, being this guy right here? <laughs> to being the 2008 USA Heavyweight Champion. It's like, how do you go from that, you know, being a fitness model? <laughs> I got a hard job. <laughs> now, who really wants the basket? <laughs> and a lot of you guys are probably lost right now and wondering, what are you going to do? And everybody says, follow your dreams, right? But a lot of you guys are lost. I know when I was in school, when I was a 16, I was that much more lost because what was I going to do? I was in a wheelchair. You know, I felt like so many things were taken away from me. <coughs> but you know what? I, I listened to all this stuff and, you know, the main message they, they taught was just do it. Take action. That's great, but, you know, a lot of people... How do you go about taking action? I mean, what are you going to do if you don't know what you really want to do? So in reality, I realized after spending years and years of studying this stuff that it actually contradicts itself because it's like you can't really take action unless you really know what so you, you want to do. Lost. So you guys are lost. And some, you, know, you guys even say that you know exactly what you want, but you know, you may be doubting yourselves. But so, it's like, okay, well, let's, and that's what I'm here for. I'm going to give you a blueprint. I'm going to show you right now. I need three people to come up here. I want to show you. I want to show you where some people could not never figure this out. I want to show you how actually easy it is. Just give me three people. Raise your hand if you want to. Oftentimes, we get stuck because we don't know what to do. But the reality is, you do know what to do. You're just afraid to go after it because you fear failing. You fear what others have to say. But the thing is about people, their opinions does not matter. I am who I am. I do what I do. It's none of my business what people think of me or what people say of me because I'm going to live my life how I want to because I decide 
because it's my choice. But a lot of people are scared. And this is going to give you a blueprint of how to actually take your life to the next level. And here's the steps. So what you got to do is, you guys got questions? I got some, maybe some cool little answers. Yeah, you! Again! Yes. Okay, so, so what is it? So it's like, what is the key to all this? Yeah, I didn't know. Powerlifting, I wanted people to look at me. When I was benching, I, when I was there, I actually wanted people to look at me because I was stronger than them. <laughs> and that made me feel good. <laughs> because I realized that when I was in that bed that I was given I was given a gift, and that gift was a second chance. Because at that moment, it wasn't about if my glass was half empty or half full. I was just grateful that I had a glass. And what you guys need to realize is, what's the one thing you gain from losing everything? And that's perspective. Looking back, it's just all about doing it. And don't be afraid, because fear will overcome you. And fear will actually hold you back to being the person that you're destined to be. Because if I let the accident overcome me, I would have never been a powerlifter. I would have never been a bodybuilder. I would never become a fitness model. And I would never been a dancer. <laughs> I want to see somebody raise your hand that wants to come up here to really see this. That wants this. Randy, pick the person. <laughs> I figure I'd just put the pressure on you, man. That way I'm not the bad guy. That way people are like, Randy can pick me. I've got something for you. Oh, uh, hug. is that a free hug? Thank you. Uh, and you know what? Now you got a tan on your face, but since you came up here, I want you to come up here and do this. Now, now go, go ahead and I want you to open that. Because I want you I want you to see what the secret to all this. Because many people have a hard time believing. And you gotta be strong in your faith. Because without faith, nothing's possible. Don't show it to everybody yet. Okay. Go ahead and slowly pick it up. Oh, man. Yeah. You know what it is? Now go ahead and pick it up. Oh. Now, do you see the secret that it's going to take for you to succeed in everything that you do? That if you really believe you can achieve great things because without faith, nothing is possible. Thank you.